Hi there and welcome back. I'm going to show you the different mouse modes available in Samplitude. You can change mouse modes by clicking on the mouse mode toolbar along here. You can also right click and select big toolbar to enlarge individual toolbars. This is new in Samplitude 10 as are the nice new icons. If I go to the bottom left here there's a thing called workspace you can select power user which enables all the icons and all the toolbars I'm going to go back to easy for this particular tutorial the first mouse mode is called universal mode this one here this serves a dual purpose and you'll notice the shape changes depending on where I place it on the object if I move it to the top half of the object it turns into range mode so I can draw in a range Also I can position the play cursor Also I can draw in a range Hit delete on the keyboard to remove that section I'll undo that You can click anywhere in the upper half of the object to remove that range or deactivate it You can hit shift backspace to re-enable that range if I move the mouse pointer to the lower half of the object, it turns into object mode. So I can use this to select objects by left clicking. I can use shift to select following objects. Or I can select the first object, hold down shift and select the last object to select all the objects in between. Also I can select odd objects by holding down control like that or I can deselect objects by holding down control and left clicking the other thing you can do is lasso objects like that or from below it as long as you have a bit of empty space adjacent to the objects you can use lasso the thing to make sure is that you do it from the lower half of the adjacent track be careful not to encroach on the top half of the track or you'll end up drawing in a range which is not what you really want. It's important to be aware of mouse placement in universal mouse mode. If you want to copy an object you just hold down control and the object can be copied freely. If you want to constrain the horizontal movement when you copy an object hold down control shift when you copy. Likewise, if you hold shift when moving an object, it will stop it moving horizontally. Another thing you can do is use a modifier and press the minus key on the keyboard. The one just above the P, that is. So if I do that, it turns to curve, move and grab mode. So if you have some volume automation, you can quickly press the minus key and do some alterations. As soon as you let go, it returns to universal mode. So that's universal mouse mode. So the next mouse mode is called range mode. This stays the same regardless of where you position it. You're always in range mode using this mode, although you can use a modifier. So if you press full stop or period on your keyboard, it turns into object mode. And like previously, if you press the minus key, it turns into curve, move and grab mode. So you can make your automation changes. So that's range mode. So moving on we have object mouse mode. This is just for object selection. Just to remind you if you want to move an object directly below without moving left or right if you hold the shift key and then pull it downwards you'll find it won't move left or right. So that's worth noting. Same with copying if you hold control shift Shift in combination with control will limit the horizontal movement. So we have object mode here which is the usual thing for selecting objects. And you have the one modifier which is the minus above the P which turns it into curve move and grab mode. So that's object mode. It basically does what it says on the tin. The next mode is curve move and grab mode so we know what that's for 
for editing automation. It's nice how the waveform decreases or increases depending on the volume level. This mouse mode would be ideal if you're doing extensive automation editing as it's a dedicated tool for the job. Although having said that you can press the full stop modifier to change to object mode. So that's curve, move and grab mode. So moving swiftly on we now have object and curve mode. This looks a bit like object mode but as soon as you place the mouse pointer over an automation curve it turns to a finger so you can input an automation point very sneaky also if you press the minus modifier it turns into curve move and grab mode I omitted to mention that in curve move and grab mode you can use the rake to select multiple automation points they're all selected now and then you can move the automation all at once quite handy so that's object and curve mode. There's also mouse mode samplitude 4 which is this left right icon. This works by right clicking for select and left clicking gives you range selection. You can use the minus modifier again for curve move and grab mode. So that's mouse mode samplitude 4. So on to the next mouse mode. This is a more specialist mouse mode. It's called cut mouse mode which is represented by the scissors icon. I think I want to merge all these objects together so what I'm going to do is by right clicking on the toolbar I can select edit toolbar and and there it is glue objects so click on add and it's added to the toolbar. Click on the glue objects icon and bingo all the objects are glued together so now I'll select the cut mouse mode icon snap is currently set to one bar if I want to disable snapping I can just press alt on the keyboard that disables snapping it allows me to cut free form or free hand in fact you can go down to sample accuracy so if you press alt you can cut freely with no restrictions You can of course disable the magnet which is the snap icon here. It does the same thing as pressing alt on the keyboard. I prefer to use the alt modifier. Also it's worth bearing in mind you can also use the range tool for making cuts as well. Press alt and you can just position the cursor and press T. That will cut as well. It's down to personal taste. Some people probably prefer to use the scissor tool. Up to now I've always used the range tool. So that's cut mouse mode. 